In horror films, a frequent theme is one in which the mirror image of a person exists separately. It's the exact opposite, an evil entity that wants to destroy its master on the other side of the mirror. The most amazing thing is that our universe has a similar evil twin. What is the mysterious mirror image of our universe? And what happens if you go there? The reason that we can speculate that the universe has a mirror image is the theory of CPT symmetry. The letter C in this abbreviation means conjugation of charges. That is, each elementary particle has a twin with an opposite charge. Anti-neutrons, electrons, anti-electrons, or positrons, and so on. Every particle discovered by scientists has a twin. The letter P implies the symmetry of space. That is, all three directions in our 3D world have opposite directions. T, respectively, means that for the forward flow of time, there's a symmetric flow in the opposite direction. There was a similar symmetry right at the moment of the birth of our universe. In the first nano and picoseconds after the Big Bang, matter and antimatter were equally divided. A little later, for every one billion particles and antiparticles, there was one extra particle. Now, in the part of the universe that we're observing, no significant accumulations of antimatter have been detected. Scientists wondered why this supersymmetry was broken and where this huge amount of antimatter disappeared to without a trace. In fact, if the entire huge array of antimatter remained, our universe would have disappeared immediately after the Big Bang. After all, when an antiparticle meets a particle, a so-called annihilation occurs. Particles simply disappear in a flash of light with the release of a huge amount of energy. Therefore, at first, physicists assumed that initially there was more matter. Antimatter and matter are mutually destroyed, and excess matter formed the universe that we have now. But such a hypothesis has many mathematical inconsistencies, so I had to look for another explanation. Canadian scientists from the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics, led by Neil Turok, have proposed their own theory. They came to the conclusion that immediately after the Big Bang, in one direction, the universe arose that we know and live in, and in the opposite direction, the anti-universe was born. It consists entirely of antimatter, and time in the anti-universe goes from the future to the past. That is, right now, there's your antimatter copy, which sits upside down in front of an upturned computer and already knows how this video will end as it looks backwards in time. This raises many questions. What does life look like when everything is composed of antimatter? Can we ever make contact with the antimatter universe? Scientists tried to answer this question by creating antiparticles in laboratory. As early as 1932, the first positrons, or anti-electrons, were discovered in cosmic rays. And in 1955, scientists from Berkeley managed to obtain anti-protons. Later, thanks to advanced technologies, physicists were able to obtain not just anti-particles, but whole anti-atoms, anti-helium, and anti-hydrogen. However, at first, it was very difficult to study them. Anti-atoms collided with hydrogen atoms, and after just 172 milliseconds, were mutually destroyed. To prolong the existence of antiparticles, scientists use special electromagnetic traps called the quadrupole loft configuration, which, for a short time, prevents particles and antiparticles from coming into contact with and annihilating each other. So, in 2011, anti-hydrogen lasted as long as 1,000 seconds. And in 2014, 80 anti-hydrogen atoms were created for the purpose of a detailed study. By 2022, scientists plan to construct a portable trap for antiparticles and then drive the antimatter in a truck several hundred meters to another site for further experiments. 
But still, most studies have not yet been able to give clear answers about what exactly antimatter is. However, one thing is clear. If by some miracle you manage to get into the anti-universe, you're doomed. Since each cell of your body consists of ordinary matter, in the anti-universe, you will explode with the release of a huge amount of energy and then disappear without a trace. On the other hand, this will provide the inhabitants of the mirror world with the most vivid sight in their life. Or vice versa, with your presence, you might destroy all life on our twin planet in the anti-universe. The fact is that the interaction of one gram, or about 0.03 ounces, of antimatter and matter is equal in strength to an explosion with the power of 21.5 kilotons, which is slightly more than the power of the Fat Man Bomb dropped on Nagasaki. The average person has a mass of 165 pounds or 75 kilograms, which equals the explosive energy of approximately 76,786 Fat Man Bombs. Therefore, in any case, a guest from the opposite universe will lead to disastrous consequences. But guess what? Nearly the same thing, only on a much smaller scale, happens inside your body every hour. Together with food and air, you often get the radioactive potassium-40 isotope in your body. Interacting with your molecules, it begins to decay and emit positrons, aka anti-electrons. Thus, you emit 180 antiparticles per hour and about 4,000 per day. True, they're instantly destroyed by ordinary matter and turned into gamma radiation. Such an amount of antimatter is really quite small. But that's all that will remain of you after entering into the anti-universe. If you manage to safely extract some material from the mirror world, this could make you fabulously rich. Indeed, according to NASA estimates for 2006, one milligram of positrons, or 0.015 grains, cost about $25 million. A gram of antihydrogen, or 0.03 ounces, in 1999, had a value of $62.5 trillion. It's probably better to forget about such large sums of money, because instead of money, you will suffer a painful and intense death. The second point, and also the reason that it's difficult to enter into the mirror world, is time. The anti-universe exists in time before the Big Bang. That is, it's located more than 14 billion years ago. Even if we learn how to safely approach antiparticles, we'll need to find a way to travel far back into the past. Theoretically, time travel is possible, but only within our universe at least for now. However, it's entirely possible that you, I, and all the people around us are living in the anti-universe. Some physicists believe that no matter which side of the Big Bang our universe is on, we'll still perceive the environment as ordinary matter, and the passage of time will only go forward, even if we're on the opposite side. It's worth noting that even in the absence of contact with the anti-universe, we constantly influence each other. Each time scientists create or destroy a new particle, an antiparticle is born or dies accordingly. As much as we would like, even if contact with the anti-universe is ever possible, it will end in mutual self-destruction. However, the very possibility of the existence of a mirror copy of our world and each of us literally turns our worldview inside out. However, a theory has recently appeared that could fully disprove the existence of the anti-universe. The main evidence of its existence is based on the absence of a large amount of antimatter in our universe. 
But researchers from the Brookhaven National Laboratory in the United States and the University of Kansas found another explanation for this. According to their assumptions, the Higgs troika is to blame. It consists of three types of particles, the so-called Higgs bosons, one of which is known also as the God particle. They differ from the rest of the particles in that they produce an incredibly large amount of energy, and as a result they decay within a short period of time, creating a stream of particles of ordinary matter, which destroyed almost all antimatter in the universe. But out of the three alleged bosons, only one has been discovered so far. So the anti-universe theory still could be true. So I look forward to your comments, no matter which universe you are from. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And click on the bell to be notified about the many new and interesting videos that await you ahead.